Now, of course, you're going to want to safely raise and support the front of the vehicle so the wheels off the ground and the suspension is able to hang low. We'll continue on by removing all five of our 19 millimeter lug nuts and then the wheel. After that, we're going to go ahead and remove this shield right here. If you were to look along the front of it, you're going to find four plastic push clips. Let's go ahead and remove all four of those and then we'll make our way to the inboard side and remove the two that are in there. Now when you remove these, you only want to grab onto the outer portion. This inner portion is going to stay up there. Once you separate it, it should unlock. Let's make our way in here for the last two. Now let's have a look up at this area right here. We want to pay attention to the threaded area that's on the tie rod right next to where the sleeve is. Typically I like to mark the tie rod end that I'm not going to be replacing. Let's use a crayon. Make a nice big mark on this. That way there we know exactly how far to put the sleeve back on when we go to reinstall. Now let's move along to each of the mounting nuts that hold the sleeve clamp on. We'll use a 15 millimeter to loosen each of these. Now we can continue on unscrewing the sleeve from the tie rod ends. There's several tools you can use to do this. I'm just going to use some long pliers. There it is, friends. Now let's move along to applying a little bit of copper never seize to the threaded area of this tie rod end. And we'll apply some copper never seize to this tie rod end as well. Now it's time to go ahead and put on our sleeve. When we do this, we're only gonna try to start it onto this tie rod end, one thread. After that, we'll line it up with the other tie rod end and fully put it on. There we are. Now at this point, the sleeve is started onto both the tie rod ends. It's important to make sure that it's screwing onto both the tie rod ends at the same time so it's properly timed. Now we're gonna continue tightening this until we get to our mark that we made with our crayon. Alright, so at this point I went ahead and I tightened this up to the point that I got to my original marking. Now I'm just going to double check to make sure it looks as though it's even on both of the threaded areas for the tie rod ends. Once you're sure that looks good, let's continue on by snugging up our mounting nuts. Something that's important to mention when you're snugging these is you want to pay attention to the slotted area of the sleeve. The slotted area of the sleeve needs to line up with the slotted area of the clamps. You don't want to have it spun in any way that makes it so it won't actually pinch this down to clamp it in position. Once they're snug, go ahead and torque these to 77 foot-pounds. Let's 
get our shield back up on here, we're going to line up all six of our push pin holes. Once you get it lined up, go ahead and start putting in the push pins. You want to push in the outer aspect first. Once it slides into position, go ahead and lock it down with a center. Now we can go ahead and get our wheel back up on here. Start on all five of your 19 millimeter lug nuts, bottom them out, and then when we get the wheel back on the ground, we'll go ahead and torque each of them to 122 foot pounds. Torqued. Okay friends, we got our front end back together. What's left to do now? Now of course you're gonna wanna safely take it for a road test, listen for any funny noises, and of course get yourself down to your local alignment shop. Thanks for watching.